look at that for a bike, will you? In this world of crazy advancement in terms of technology on all of these new motorbikes out there, once in a while I need to be grounded. And believe me, there is no better bike, not that I've ridden anyway, than this VFR 800 to do that very thing. Welcome back aboard my VFR 2007. This machine came to the road. And the reason I wanted to come out today and to ride it is that when I bought this bike last year for just over 4,000 euro, spent a, a good few quid doing her up because she wasn't in great nick. There's a video about that if you want to go and see it. But uh, with all of the hype, of today's modern bikes and all of the latest gadgets which are on everything and the must-haves. I love coming out on this bike because not only does it remind me of how bikes should be and how they were for a long time, this bike grounds me but more than that I'd nearly say it's a bit of a spiritual awakening riding this VFR. I absolutely adore this bike. Um, and it's one of those bikes that I never really knew what it was going to be like. I just always loved the look of them. Hadn't really ridden one. Uh, and when I got it back from the people who did the bike up for me, and then I rode it, there was just a connect. And every time I'm confused about making decisions about, you know, what bikes to have next and which way to go. Do I go for the latest BMW? Do I go for the new Honda Africa Twin? Do I go for a Triumph Street Triple? Do I sell the Aprilia RS 660? To make all of those decisions, to ground me, I come out on this bike. There's a big old rat race out there. And there's a huge market and industry out there as well. And when it comes to having the latest and must owning the latest bit of technology, I remember, you know, I'm that old, I remember when uh, ABS was introduced to motorbikes and then when what was the other thing I thought which was huge I, I, I remember when I heard about it yes it was the quick shifter so whilst the, the bikes going around the tracks were able to quick shift without the use of a clutch when they brought that to the production line for consumers like myself to then have that technology on board I mean, I honestly thought, well, whatever, next. <laughs> it was a little bit like when cars got electric windows instead of the windy ones. Well, that's it. You don't need anything else ever. So all of this stuff about the latest bikes having radar cruise control and adaptive height technology and center stands which raise the bike when they touch the floor so short asses like myself can get on. It's all market and hype. And I don't mind that, because, you know, we've got to move forward uh, in the market of motorcycles, well, in the, in the world. The world has to progress, and that is progression. But I'm annoyed with myself, because I think I'm one of the biggest suckers out there who gets sucked in by all this stuff that we must have. An actual fact, we don't need anything. And every time I ride this bike, I prove the point time and time again to myself. It goes a bit deeper than that for me. There's another thing I wonder, um, this is quite personal, but I often think, will I ever be happy? And what I mean by that is, it doesn't matter what, in terms of material stuff, I go out and buy the latest in cameras, the latest in bikes, you know, I have a few other hobbies going on as well, which I won't bore you with, but I always feel as though I have to have the latest with whatever, has been brought out and unless I have them I'm not happy but it's materialistic I am materialistic I admit it I know I am and I wish I wasn't it's one of the qualities about myself that I really dislike does it make me a bad person I've often asked myself that question as well I don't think so because I don't believe I'm a bad person I'm kind to people I treat people how I want to be treated uh, and I respect people, especially those close to me. Uh, and I would never go out of my way to upset anybody. So I don't believe I'm a bad person. But I really believe I'm a deeply 
uncontent person. I think that's the word that I'm looking for. And I am going through my life. I've hit 54 years old there recently. And I have to ask my question as I do on every birthday. My question to myself is, will I ever be content? I wonder how many of you can relate with what I'm saying. I'm not sure I'll ever be content. If I won 10 million on the lotto, I'd wish it was 20 million. And I know I've always been a bit like that. So I just have to adapt and maybe live with it. I've been reading a lot of books on the, the positivity, uh, the power of now, mindfulness, basically appreciating every moment or how to appreciate moments within the day rather than living life like I do live always looking at reviews for the latest and greatest bikes coming out uh, if you saw my recent uh, review on the BMW 1300 when I went to test ride that I mean I, I drove home wondering you know how I was going to make it work to buy one I don't mind admitting that and I don't even know if I've divulged that yet uh, on, on this channel but that's the truth because I was so knocked out with the ride and I knew what everybody else was saying with the ride of it as well and then I started thinking oh yeah well it'll be great for the channel uh, you guys would love to follow me riding that bike and I end up convincing myself that I'm going to grow the channel quicker and get more subscribers and therefore more income from the channel if I have the latest and greatest I'd love to know your thoughts on that as well this is turning out to be a bit of uh, therapy for me coming out and speaking to you like this and that's one of the reasons I love making the videos that I make I always feel as though you're there with me I love coming out having a chat in fact the times I come out not sure who's seen me yes he has the times I come out without a camera on board it's quite weird not chatting <laughs> but it's a beautiful afternoon and I'm out on a 17 year old bike and I couldn't be happier and I'm not sure if any bike would make me feel happier than I am right now and that's what I mean when I say I like to be grounded this bike does all of that for me that's why I call it my sort of spiritual bike that really does bring me back to earth when this bike came out and I remember just being in awe at its looks and then when I started hearing all about this VTEC technology you know I suppose it was the same then I'd say a lot of people riding these back then had to have the VTEC <laughs> so I dare say it's a it's an age-old thing this wanting more and wanting the best and it's probably how we are programmed as human beings but I really do have to question it in myself especially of late I'm disappointed with myself now looking at all these motorbikes when I've got three absolutely stunning bikes in my garage uh, well I've got this I've got the BMW 1200 GS and I've got the brand new Street Triple 765 RS um, and between those three bikes they scratch every boil itch wart <laughs> everything that I might have on my body anything that I might have on my body they scratch all of those itches I would want for nothing more and indeed having three bikes in the stable I know I'm extremely fortunate extremely lucky but I still want more what's that about part of the reason I sold a few bikes late last year was because of these thoughts I just sort of woke up one morning and thought this is absolutely crazy I'm paying the insurance I'm paying the tax on all of these bikes and I barely ride three of them and I can spend hours on YouTube as you guys are doing now watching me and I love to see all the reviews from my peers about the latest bikes coming out and I love to see the tours that some of my t uh, peers do again especially further afield because I can dream of that but that's a bit different that's not about wanting the latest bit of technology that's aspiration for me um, when I look at some of the tours like uh, Andy TMF has just done to Japan oh my god that's just like stuff dreams are made of for me uh, and indeed if I ever came into a bucket full of money I'd 
absolutely endeavour to go off and do a, a tour like that. But I love learning about places as well, which is why I like watching the tours. And, but then, inevitably, I get sucked into what bike they're riding. And then I go off on a tangent and start looking at reviews about that particular bike. I'm just a sucker. Are we all suckers for marketing? Do we all want the same? Do we all want more? I know people who are content and happy in their life and don't actually want any more. Well, they certainly haven't let on that they do. They're very happy with what they have. I'd love to be like that. Or would I? I don't know. I'm questioning a lot about myself. Like I said, I've just uh, hit another birthday. I tend to get a little bit sentimental like this every time a birthday comes around. I sort of use it as a, a milestone, really. And uh, I'll sort of look back on the year and uh, ask myself, did I achieve? Did I underachieve? I sort of got to try and make myself and, you know, progress myself better. That's how I feel. Bloody hell, this is a bit deep, isn't it? I only came out for a spin. <laughs> I wonder how many of you are relating to this uh, waffle that I'm coming out with. I hope it's making sense if you're still with the video. <laughs> On that note, I think uh, it's about time we had to appreciate a bit of beauty. I know you've been looking at the, uh, the side angles of the bike on the 360 cam, but I really do think we need to pull in. Uh, no better place. There's a great car park here. One uh, favourite spot of mine, actually. I normally come out here on a Sunday afternoon for a spin, um, but I think we need to pull in and appreciate the beauty of this bike. Just let these uh, cars go first. Busy all day. I mean, come on, look at that. Let's take a moment to appreciate this beauty. Uh, sorry, the sun is glaring right at the bike, so I'm trying to keep the camera below the sun, but uh, it's quite difficult to do that. It's sort of mid-afternoon when I'm making this vlog, but I'm sure you can still see enough of the bike to appreciate its beauty. Incidentally, I took the um, the uh, rail off the back where the uh, back box goes, you know, I just really didn't like the aesthetic of that and I put the grab handles back on and the uh, the seat cover on the pillion seat because I never carry pillion anyway, so and I just think it's made the bike look even better. I really love that, but uh, you know when when that single-sided swing arm came out as well uh, and they put it on these bikes, I, I, just to even look at this bike, I couldn't believe how amazing this bike looked. And I can say, in all honesty, I still look at this bike and think the same. I look at it in awe, full of lust. Um, I'm sure you totally get what I mean, especially if you own one of these. And then when you ride it, it's just unbelievable. Like, and the only bit of technology this bike has fitted, really, is ABS. Uh, it doesn't even have a gear indicator, for God's sake, let alone a, a quick shifter. <laughs> uh, but I don't need it. I don't miss it. I don't want it. This, to me, is real motorcycle riding. I, I'm totally, totally in love with this bike. Okay, on that note, it's probably about time to get back on the bike and uh, ride at home. The other thing to add is, well, you all know if you've been following me for a while, how much I love cleaning my bikes and looking at bikes. It doesn't matter if I'm not riding them all the time. They just stir every emotion inside me, even when I just look at them. And uh, this bike is probably top of the tree for that. It's one of those bikes I could just be very, very content with just by looking at it. Now, occasionally I'd need to get on her and ride it, but... <laughs> But I'd be very happy just looking at this bike. I, I, I honestly think at 17 years old, this bike is still up there with the best of them. And when you think about it, right, even though the technology on board bikes has increased tenfold since this bike was introduced, in terms of looks, I honestly, now I know it's all subjective, but I honestly think that this bike 
is up there with the Ducatis and the rest of them. I really do. I just think it's incredible to look at. And that's, again, what I mean and what I'm saying when I want to come out. Every time I feel as though I'm running away with myself and I'm thinking about, oh, this bike and that bike and, you know, I'm looking at figures and whatever else. Just come out for a ride on this. Uh, now, if you're fortunate enough to to have a few bikes and any of your bikes make you feel like this then this bike will always always have a place in my garage it doesn't matter if I had 30 bikes in my garage this bike is the only bike I've ever known which grounds me and brings me back to earth so I hope you enjoyed this video folks um, I've always said on my channel I will be as transparent as I possibly can be and that's not just when it comes to telling you what I think of motorcycles. That's actually telling you what is going through my head as well. So uh, if this is the first time you've tuned into any of my videos, don't worry. They're not all as deep as this. Normally we have a lot of fun as well. Um, but uh, please think about becoming a subscriber if you're not one already. And uh, for those of you who already are one, then you'll know that next Saturday morning at 8 a.m. I'll be dropping another YouTube video. So have a great week, everybody. Thanks to everybody out there again for following me and uh, giving me a huge buzz. You know, I always say I love coming out, chatting to you guys. I really do. And uh, that's one thing that will never run away with me. I always appreciate uh, the following that I have on YouTube. You make an old man very happy. And, <laughs> and on that note, folks, I really will go now. Uh, have a great week. Ride safe, everybody. Dave Perry, Wheelie Good TV. Over and out.